Welcome back to part two of the Thanksgiving Day matching shirts. On here, I'm just starting to work on the front of the shirt. As you can see, I'm just roughly placing the letters of the word that I like, which is sissy turkey. Next, I'm gonna go back in and place them in the position that I like best, um, make sure they're straight. Then I'll just go ahead and push on them so they don't move. I Once I have the desired position that I like, I'm going to go in and trace around the letters to get um, the stencil made out. And then once that's done, I'm going to go in with the gold metallic puffy paint and fill in the spaces. As you can see, I do everything pretty self-explanatory. So let's go ahead and jump right in. point we are at my favorite part of this project which is adding glitter yes all you have to do is just as you can see sprinkle the glitter very generously over the letters and because the letters are still wet it will stick then you just make sure that all the letters are covered once they're covered um, just go ahead and on a sheet of paper tap off all the excess glitter and that glitter then you can go ahead and put back into the container and reuse again just easily tap um, it's only going to stick to the letters that are wet and look how beautiful that looks it is gives it a little bit of a puffy effect to the shirt and you guys it is beautiful Next I'm going in with a black puffy paint just going over the pen marks that we traced and filling in with the black. Um, as you can see I'm being pretty generous with the black puffy paint. I want it to be very jet black. It gives it a nice effect with the gold on top. It just ends up looking beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and just fill in all the letters and we are almost done guys. On here is the next and final step that I'm doing with the gold metallic puffy paint. I'm just freehanding an arrow to do the desired look that I would like. Um, nothing special, that's why I decided to just go ahead and freehand it. As you can see, nothing too spectacular. On here, I apologize, I didn't realize that my camera wasn't catching this. But I'm just doing the ends of the arrow as you can see. Next I'm going to add in a black heart on the center. I understand that sounds a little rough, black heart. But no, I just wanted to add a little black from the turkey so it could all be cohesive. Just finishing up a little bit of black puffy paint on that black heart. And here is the finished product, you guys. I love how this ended up. It's so beautiful. There is the finished product. I love how these shirts turned out. They're so, so cute. Um, let me go ahead and show you how it turned out. It's so wet, so you have to be very careful.
So here you have it guys. If you want your family to be matching in these super adorable holiday shirts, but like me, don't want to break the bank in the process, here's an easy and affordable alternative and you can design it any way you want. Thank you for watching.